Stanford University. Right there. Yeah, that's right. Great. These rocks were collected in South Africa, in some of the oldest rocks in the world. It's about three and a half billion years old. And they were formed in ocean basins. And they were laid down on the ocean floor. What you're seeing there is actually a piece of a rock that he's using the laser on. So imagine what's happening on the ocean floor. There's rocks that are forming at the ocean floor, even as they are today, the three and a half billion years ago. And they're sitting down on the ocean floor and they're, and they're forming in equilibrium with ocean water. So they're, they're capturing the original signal of that ocean in the rocks. And then when they solidify, they preserve that, hopefully, for three and a half billion years. So what we found out, once we analyzed these, we had both hydrogen isotopes and oxygen isotopes, and we could calculate a temperature of the oceans. It was a cold ocean, or at least a tepid ocean. That's one thing we found out, which was really fascinating. The second thing is we found out that the isotope composition of the ocean was very different than what we had previously assumed. And it was, had a lot more hydrogen in, in it relative to deuterium than modern oceans. The significance of this is it allows us to identify the types of life and where the origin of life stem begins and what kind of environment was that. And so that, to me, is one of the most important aspects of understanding what our temperature of our oceans were. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.